Well, greetings, this is Dr. Bill Bailey and this is the Handheld Hack. I have my handheld device in my hand here. You'll notice it's a ViewSonic G tablet, which is heavily hacked <laughs> with the vegan tab version of the Android operating system on it. And I have it here actually on the Handheld Hack webpage. There you go, let's see, let me get it better in the screen there. HHH for handheld hack. This is the handheld hack ver uh, episode number one. One. Okay, so the very first one. And I had a lot of things planned for this first version of the netcast for the handheld hack. And if you are familiar with my other netcast, Dr. Bill the Computer Curmudgeon, hi there, welcome. But uh, this particular netcast is dedicated to handheld devices, news regarding handheld devices, and hackery of handheld devices. Now, um, basically, there's a lot here to talk about. If I go all the way back to uh, the earlier posts that I have here on the handheld hack, the news would be quite out of date. Um, so I'm not going to go all the way back to that. I have posts here on Ice Cream Sandwich, uh, an article that talks about the Ice Cream Sandwich uh, version of Android and what it's going to include. And uh, will Android Ice Cream Sandwich transform your phone into a game console? Uh, then I talk a little bit here about the Cisco CS Enterprise Grade Tablet. Is it worth looking at? And then in terms of more recent news, a new Nook from Barnes & Noble may be on the way. Now, uh, this particular article, I'm going to get into it so I can give you a little more detail. There will be an announcement November 7th that will likely include the introduction of a revamped Barnes & Noble Nook. Uh, he says, please join us for a very special announcement. The invite reads, and uh, there's a, a Nook logo here in the article. Uh, the event will take place in New York next Monday. As I record this, this is a Saturday before Monday, of course. And uh, it will kick off at 7 a.m. So, there will be plenty of folks there to report on it. We'll find out for sure what all the hoopla is on that. But uh, the uh, Nook digital reader is really, when you get right down to it, an Android tablet. And so they're, they're spiffing up the software and adding some features in the Barnes & Noble Nook that I think are going to be really good. And so you don't want to miss that. Alrighty. Uh, the other thing is that Ubuntu is coming to tablets, smartphones, and handheld devices in 2014. Now, that's a ways off from my perspective. And I mentioned this on the Dr. Bill show as well because I cross-posted it over to uh, the drbill.cc website. CC stands for Computer Curmudgeon, as you may well know. But at any rate, Ubuntu will hit smartphones, but not until 2014. They're going to be using the Unity interface. And the cool thing about it really is going to be the fact that it is uh, going to be open because Ubuntu is open source. And because it's open, it will be easily modified, hacked, which is what we're all about here on the handheld hack. And it will be um, probably where you will be able to flash it into your device yourself. Matter of fact, I'm very confident that will be the case. And so any modifications that people might want to make, when you get the community, the open source community involved in something like this, I guarantee you, you will have better software and better features because it will be features people really, really want, not just what a manufacturer thinks you want. And so I'm really looking forward to that. I think it's going to be awesome, but it's 2014. That's a ways off. Oh well. The other thing is the Nook Color, the original Nook, will drop in price to $199. Now, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look at this article in a little bit of detail here so I can uh, mention the things that they're adding in. They're adding in Hulu Plus, okay, 
they're going to be adding in, uh, because of Hulu Plus, basically because of that source, they'll have TV shows, movies, and documentaries through Hulu Plus. They'll also have uh, Rapsode. I'm sure I'm pronouncing that incorrectly. Rhapsody. Uh, and it may be Rhapsody. It may be that that's exactly what it is and they just misspelled it here in the article. Oh well. MOG and Groove Shark with free trials. Pandora is still included. It's already on the nook. And so that's not new. But uh, looks like if you're going to be in the market for an e-reader and tablet both, you might be able to get this one device and get both in this one device, which is pretty cool. Now, let me tell you a little bit about the handheld hack just to give you a little introduction into our vision here for this particular netcast. I want to show you how I put the vegan tab version of Android here on the uh, G tablet, and I plan to do that in an upcoming episode, a detailed step-by-step -step uh, of how to do that because I'll tell you, this particular device, the ViewSonic G tablet, is an excellent example of a very nice tablet. I'm going to hold it there where you can see. It's got some great features on it, got all kinds of ports, uh, got stereo speakers, um, built in camera. Uh, it's got, let me go here, you can see. It's kind of hard because of all the, the lighting in here and the reflections off the screen. But that is an animated screen there for the, the main screen. Um, animated background. Email. I've got VMware View on here. I've got the Android Market on here. I've got Amazon Kindle software. Uh, Cadre Bible, which is one of my favorite uh, Bible software tools for handheld devices. Now on my PC I use eSword, e-sword.net. You can download it for free. Cadre Bible you have to purchase, but you can get all kinds of translations, you can get Strong's Concordance, all kinds of good things. So if you're looking for Bible software for an Android device, that is the way to go, is Cadre Bible. So uh, I've got that on here, but the thing is, the software that came with the ViewSonic G tablet, the original software out of the box, so to speak, they didn't even have the Android market. They didn't have, I, didn't, I couldn't have put any of the software on here because they didn't have the Android market. And it was kludgy and, I mean, this, this device is a dual processor device. It's awesome. It's got 16 gig of memory built in and then you can add in an SD card as I did and add in another 16 gig of memory. So what I did is I went ahead and got uh, here's the slot here that you can put the SD card in and so I got another 16 gig of memory. So I got 32 gig of memory in this device. Dual processor, very nice, very solid and I, I paid $230 for it. I mean, that's a great deal. But the operating system was terrible. Not, not that Android's terrible, because I love Android, but the version they had on here and the way they had kludged it up. I'm sorry, ViewSonic, but you did. So the hacking community, the open source and free hacking community, ported gingerbread which is a version of Android, to the device. Now, I'm going to go ahead and I want to show you something here, just to show you what this is all about. I'm going to power it off, and it's shutting down now. And as it powers back up, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Normally, you would get the ViewSonic opening screen, and then it would go to its own software. But I'm going to turn it on now. Now there's the ViewSonic Birds. See if I can get it situated here where you can see it easily. There's the ViewSonic Birds, but now notice what happens. See how it goes to this particular screen here? I'm going to try to zoom in a little bit. GTAB Devs. That's the hacked version of the operating system. And then there is the screen where it comes up and shows that it's Vegan Tab that's booting. And it's got a very flashy 
screen that comes up there and then boom you're finally into the actual operating system I'm going to slide the slider there and then there you have so see it booted very nice and quick but that entire boot sequence of that operating system that's not even the software this, that came on this so that's why I'm so excited about the handheld hack in the sense that I want to show you how to hack your tablet particularly if you've got a tablet like this one this inexpensive tablet with very powerful hardware and yet the operating system it's terrible but the new one that I've got on here is awesome and it's very very usable so I'm telling you this is the way to go so I'm gonna go ahead now and shut it down as I finish off the netcast here because this is just an introduction to what I want to do with the handheld hack and we're going to be talking in the future about other handheld devices about phones uh, things other than just Android devices, so I, I wanted to make it broad enough that it, we covered the whole range, whether it's iPhone, uh, iPad, um, you know, other operating systems. I don't know if we'll get into WebOS because frankly I, I don't think that one's going to make it, uh, but if you buy an HP tablet that had WebOS on it and put this hacked version of Android on it, you're in better shape than if you were using WebOS, which probably won't even be supported before too long. So lots of opportunities to hack your handheld device. So remember until next time, you're only as good as your last hack.